Hello guys, welcome to my educational vlog. I'm going to discuss about the Filipino psychology and how I review for the psychometrician board exam. I will also give you some tips and quizzes about the, this topic at the end of my discussion. So first, let us discuss what is Filipino psychology. So Filipino psychology is an indigenous psychology. So indigenous means originating in a particular place and also psychology is the scientific study of the human mind and mental processing. So now what is Filipino psychology or psikolohiya Filipino? Okay, psikolohiya ang Filipino is defined as psychology that is rooted on the experience, ideas, and cultural orientation of the Filipinos. So ito yung pag-aaral ng mga ideas ng, mga, ng culture or cultural orientation and yung mga naging experience ng mga Filipino. So there are appropriate and not appropriate concepts kasi in a particular culture or context. So for example, sa European countries, nagbibeso-beso din sila as a form of greeting, lalo na kapag kilala nila yung isang bako. Sa atin din naman, ginagawa din naman natin yan, pero more on handshake din tayo. So, some people may feel that parang awkward kapag ginawa mo yun sa isang tao. And then dito, dito na magsisimula yung incorrect interpretation of one's behavior and thinking. So, dapat, it should be based on the context of the individual's world. So, dapat alam mo yung culture ng place na yun at ng pinanggalingan ng tao yun. Okay? So let's have a brief history. So no 1970s, there is a group of eminent academicians pioneered the use of a Filipino perspective in social sciences. So those are Dr. Zeus, Dr. Virgilio, and Dr. Prospero. So together they develop a Filipino perspective and methodology to study a Philippine society and culture. So kay Dr. Virgilio Enriquez nga lang, uh, ang pinag-aralan niya is the Filipino psychology. So, may iba't iba silang pinag-aralan. And then, kay Dr. Virgilio Enriquez, nag-end up siya sa Filipino psychology. And then, it, it, Filipino psychology is also adapted by the UNICEF or United Nations International Children's uh, Emergency Fund. So, they use the Filipino psychology as a parang program for the children's with or children who are a victim of trauma. Dr. Virgilio G. Enriquez was born on November 24, 1942 in Santol, Balantas, Bulacan. And he is the father of Filipino psychology. He died August 31, 1994 at the age of 51. So, nung bata pa si Dr. Virgilio, palagi siyang tinitrain ng father niya to use the mother tongue which is Tagalog. So, for example, bibigyan siya ng English newspaper ng father niya and then he will read it in Tagalog. He will read it out loud as if it was written in Tagalog talaga. So, ganun siya itrain ng father niya when he was a child. So, there are three key concepts. So, the first one is Kapwa. The second one is Levels of Interaction. And the third is Filipino Values. So, let's start with Kapwa. So, what is Kapwa? So, Kapwa is not others. It is, as you can see, naggawa ako ng diagram. So, nandyan yung sarili, nandyan yung iba. At sa gitna ng sarili at iba, nandun yung Kapwa. So, Kapwa is the shared identity of self and other. Paano mo ba masasabi na Kapwa mo ang isang tap? Okay? So, dapat meron kayong similarities. Meron kayong parehong pinagdadaanan. And also, there is a connectedness. Ito ay ang pagkilala na bahagi ng sarili ng iba sa akin. Hindi ako iba sa iyo. Hindi rin ako iba sa inyo. So, this is shared identity is a sense of identification with another. So, ito, din ay, ito rin ay tumutukoy sa pamayanan na hindi ka nag-iisa sa paggawa. So, the core idea of Kapwa is treat others as you treat yourself because the other person is also yourself. At kung tinuturing natin Kapwa, 
ang ibang tao, dapat alam natin na meron dapat pagkilala at pagalang sa dangal at talaga ng bawat isa. Ayaw din natin na nakakasak- nakakasakit tayo ng iba at hinihikaya tayong ituring na kapantay ang lahat ng iba sa atin. Hindi kaya tayong maging magalang, maging patas, at huwag manamantala. So for Enriquez, kapwa is a core value because it is the foundation or heart of all other values. So there are eight levels of interaction. Pero meron siyang dalawang category. The first category is ibang tao or outsider and hindi ibang tao or one of us. So nag start ang levels of interaction or ang interaction from the ibang tao or outsider which is number one, pakikitungo. So, pakikitungo or transaction or civility with. So, in Confucian ethics, it is the right behavior meant, right demeanor towards authorities. For example, di ba, when we were young, uh, we are parang takot tayong uh, pagalitan or bigyan ng punishment ng parents natin. So, ang ginagawa natin, sinusunod natin sila, and that's what we call pakikitungo. And the second one is pakikisalamuha, or interaction with or act of mixing. So, it, this is a social value that is primarily communitarian and Confucian. It espouses the ability to adapt, or trying to adapt with other people. So, pakikilahok, or joining, or participating with, this translates to participation of the entire community to help a person. Okay? And the fourth one is pakikibagay. So, this is the level of conforming. This runs into conflict with individuality, which many Filipinos, in fact, willingly throw away in favor of conformity with demands, with demands of those who are in charge. And the fifth one is pakikisama or level of adjusting, being united with the group. And then, sa hindi ibang tao or one of us, so tatlo lang ang under ng hindi ibang tao. So, the first one is pakikipagpalagay ang loob or level of mutual trust. Pag sinabing pakikipagpalagay ang loob, meron ng mutual trust siya. So, compare mo dun sa mga nauna, wala pang mutual trust. Dito, nag start na magkaroon ng mutual trust. And then, nag start pa lang, ha? So, the seventh so, yung pang pito, pakikisangkot, getting involved with or act of joining others. Medyo nakakalito siya sa pakikisalamuha. Kasi interaction with or act of mi- mixing and, asan ba yun? Pakikilahok. Pero anong pagkakaiba nilang tatlo? Yung pakikisangkot kasi, mas more on parang mas higher na siya dun sa dalawang yun. Okay? Meron na kayong mutual trust eh. Tapos na kayo sa mutual trust. So, parang, ano na, um, palagay na yung loob mo. Kaya ka, alam mo yun, kaya ka nakikipag join sa kanila. So, yun yun. And then, pakikiisa is the level of fusion, oneness, and full trust. So, Ang pagkakaiba na nila natos ng pakikiisa sa pakikipagpalagay ng loob is pakikiisa nandoon na yung full trust. Okay, kasi sa pakikipagpalagay ng loob nag-i-start pa lang yung mutual trust. Dito sa pakikiisa nandito na yung full trust. So yun yung ito yung highest level of interaction yung pakikiisa. Let's go now to the Filipino values. So, what are the Filipino values? So, the first one is the pivotal interpersonal value. Uh, pakiramdam, under the pivotal interpersonal value is the pakiramdam. So, it is the shared inner perception. Paki is request at ramdam is internality or sensitivity. Ito ay pagkilala sa loob ng isang tao ayon kay Enriquez. This is knowing through feeling and participatory sensitivity. So sometimes we ask other people, ano kaya ang pakiramdam ng ganito ganyan? Or minsan, meron tayo uh, time na mahimik lang tayo tapos papakiramdaman natin kung ano ba yung nararamdaman ng tao ang kasama natin. So that's what we call pakikiramdam. 
Next is, under the linking social personal value is the kagandang law of our shared humanity. Ito yung pagkamakatao. Ito yung genuine acts of generosity, kindness, and caring. Ito din yung mga taong handang tumulong sa mga tao na alam nilang nangangailangan. Next is accommodative surface values. So the first one is hiya or shame. It is the uncomfortable feeling in a socially unacceptable situation. And the second one is utang na loob. So it is the gratitude or solidarity. It is not necessarily a burden or a debt. So the third one is pakikisama or smooth internal relationship, getting along with others. So, in what situation do we need to get along with others pa? And in what situation do we need not to get along with others? Next is confrontative surface values. So, the first one is bahalan or fatalistic passiveness. It is a Filipino expression that means whatever will be or come what may or in older and more traditional contexts, let God's will be. Kailan ba kayo huling magsabi na bahala? Example, ay bahala na. Bukas na lang magre-review. Bukas na lang habang nasa biyahe ako, magre-review ako. Hapon pa naman yung exam. Eh. Tapos pag nasa jeep ka na, tsaka mo sasabihin, ay bahala na, bahala na mamaya. So, ganun tayo minsan, di ba? Minsan sinasabi natin, ay bahala na ang Diyos. Bahala na ang Diyos sa kahihitnan neto. Next is lakas ng loob or courageous. This is the inner strength. So, under what circumstances do we need to display courage ba? Diba, when we are in the midst of uncertainty is kapag nag-challenge tayo, dun lumalabas yung lakas ng loob na. The third one is pakikibaka or concurrent clashes. So, it refers to the ability of the Filipino to undertake revolutions and uprisings against a common enemy. Tinatawag din itong pakikipaglaban. And the last one is the societal values. So, karangalan, katarungan, at kalayaan. Karangalan is the is dignity. This actually refers to what other people see in a person and how they use that information to make a stand or judge about his or her worth. Okay, next is katarungan or justice, which carries with it the consideration of fairness and promptness in the defense of certain basic rights and the need for katotohanan and katwiran. And the last one is kalayaan or freedom. This implies freedom of the society within the limits of the rules, laws, social norms, or resources. This is the Filipino value structure. As you can see, nasa, gin- nasa gitna yung core value, which is kapwa, or shared identity. Again, bakit siya nasa gitna? Kasi ito yung foundation ng lahat ng values. So, ito yung ginawa kong reviewer basa sa naging reference ko. So, namarize ko lang siya. So, una, inundaan ko lang yung uh, tatlong three words na to. So, yung pagkakaiba ng three words na to, kapwa, pakikipagkapwa, and pakikipagkapwa tao. Okay, the first one is kapwa. So, kapwa is the awareness of shared identity. Okay? For example, okay, iyan yung kapwa mo, nasa harapan mo. Alam mo yung pagkakaiba nyo, alam niyo yung pagkakatulad nyo. Alam niyo yung pagkakatulad nyo. Alam niyo yung parehong pinagdadaanan nyo. Okay? So, there is an awareness of your shared identity. Okay? As I have discussed earlier. Okay, the second one is, uh, pakikipagkapwa. You're just interacting with others. So, yun lang yan. Pakikipagkapwa. And pakikipagkapwa tao is, there is a sense of valuing the relationship of self and the other. So, yun yung pagkakaiba ng tatlong yun. So, madali lang siyang tandaan. Kapwa is the awareness, pakikipagkapwa is interaction, and pakikipagkapwa tao is following. Okay? So, paano ko siya review Ganito lang yan. So, lahat yan, from 1 to 5, nag start siya sa pakiki. Pakiki, tungo, pakikisalamuha, pakikilahok, pakikibagay, pakikisama. So, lahat yan nag start sa pakiki. So, ang ginawa ko is, 
uh, dun ako sa second uh, word. So, dun sa tungo, sa lamuha, lahok, bagay, at sama. So, tinandaan ko. Tungo, tu, sa lamuha, sa, lahok, la, ba, bagay, sa, sama. So, tu, sa, la, ba, sa. Kasi, may, sa board exam kasi, tinatanong dyan kung ano yung part dyan na uh, pangatlo sa levels of interaction. For example, ganun na. So, o kaya pang lima sa levels of interaction. So, kailangan mo siyang kabisaduhin din. Bukod sa kailangan mo kabisaduhin yung ibig sabihin niya, kailangan mo rin tandaan yung pagkakasunod-sunod niya. So, ganun ko siya na-review. Again, tu sa tu from tungo sa salamuka ki, lahok from lahok ba bagay sa sama. Tu sa la ba sa. So, ganun ko siya na-review. And then, sa hindi ibang tao or one of us. So, tatlo lang ang under ng hindi ibang tao. Yung pang-anim is pakikipagpalagay ang loob. Pang-pito, pakikisangkot. Pang-walo, pakikiisa. So, tatanggalin ulit natin yung unang word na nag-uugnay. Ang matitira na lang ay palagay ang loob, sangkot, at isa. Papalagay ang loob sa sangkot isa. So, ganun, ganun ko tinandaan yung pagkakasunod-sunod. Tu, sa, la, ba, sa, pa, sa, i. Gumawa din ako ng quiz para sa sarili ko. Para matandaan ko pa siya lalo. So, ito yon May matching type, may enumeration, at may identification. Ayun, naging useful yung quiz na yun. Kasi, Uh, may mga lumabas sa exam. Though, onti lang naman yung items for Filipino psychology. Pero lahat yon sigurado ako na tama yun. Kasi, madali lang naman yung question. Like, ano yung lima sa levels of interaction? Or, basta nakalagay lang dun. For example, um, ito yung level of conforming. Alin sa mga sumusunod yun? A, pakikitungo. B, pakikibaryay. C, pakikilahok, or D, pakikisa. Ganun lang yung mga tanong ko. Kaya sasabihin, ito yung level of fusion, oneness, and full trust. Ano yon? A, pakipagpalagay ang loob. B, pakikisangkot. C, pakikisalamuha. D, pakikilahok. So, ganun, yung mga, ganun lang naman yung mga questions. Kaya dapat, um, tandaan nyo siya. Ano yung pagkakasunod-sunod? Ano din yung ibig sabihin? At syempre, ano din yung pagkakaiba nila? Kasi medyo mahirap isipin. Noong una nahirapan ako, ano ba pagkakaiba nila? Pero kung inintin, in, iintindihin mo siya ma, ng maayos, may intindihan mo naman talaga siya. Kung ano, me, na meron talagang pagkakaiba sa kanila. So, yun. Sa mga Filipino values naman, syempre, alam naman natin yung iba dyan. So, hindi na tayo malilito kung ano ba yun. So, intindihan lang natin kung ano bang ibig sabihin. So, madali na yun kapag naintindihan na natin. So, ayun lang. Sana may natutunan kayo. So, kung may mga tips pa kayo, share nyo lang sa comment section para matulungan natin yung kapwa natin. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. So, thank you! Bye!